Hey everybody, David here with Smart Grow Technology and what I want to do today is introduce you to my new tower design. Now these particular towers, I just put them on the side of a storage building. It's my outdoor smart garden, if you want to say. And uh, <clears throat> we're in Southern California right now, and the temperature has been really, really hot. It was like 113 yesterday in the shade. We just had a little monsoon blow through, and so it rained like crazy for about 20 minutes. Temperature has cooled down, but the, uh, the plants are still suffering a little bit just from the extreme heat. But if you take a look here, uh, I've done something different than what I did uh, previously, and that was the towers that I was making before, I did in a four inch PVC drain pipe. And these I've made out of corrugated plastic and cut them, and then I have zip tied them. If you look right here, I've zip tied them together. Now these are just my prototypes. Uh, I'm gonna have these made and available uh, if you guys want to purchase them uh, but they're gonna have clips on them and let me show you that right now so right here is one of my prototype uh, towers uh, I had to make all this stuff up and then I made these clips that are holding it together so where I have the zip ties there uh, we're gonna have these clips and they clip on and off real easy so when you're ready to change your plants out you just pull the clips off the tower will open up, you take the plants out, put new plants in, and you're on your way. These clips I made on a 3D printer, and let me show you, uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit more close-up uh, version of them. I don't know if the camera will focus in on that or not, but they're pretty thick, and they're way too thick for the application that I want to use right here, and so I'm having them redesigned, and they're going to be manufactured, and we'll have um, you know have them, thousands of them available now right now I've got four clips on this tower but we may need five clips we may need six clips so I just want to show you a little bit what I did here this is just a uh, let me back up so you can see this is just a uh, storage shed and um, I've just run a, uh, a water line at the top and then I have these coming down and I don't have any controls on them as far as drippers. I'm just letting them run full bore and I'm just shoving them in there. Uh, this is the wicking strip here. And of course, this is once we get the uh, clips made, then these towers won't be bulging so much and they'll, they'll, they'll be more like that. And so they're just hanging above a, a typical gutter that you can buy at Home Depot. Remember, we want to do things as cheap as possible. And uh, this material here is some of the uh, gutter guard that you can buy. Uh, it's the fiber material. It's the same material that's used in other towers, but um, I put it in here for the, uh, to keep the leaves and try to keep some of the dirt out. Because these are outside, when the wind blows, we get dust um, and other things. And so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is over here, I'm going to put this whole wall in the towers and I think what I'll do is I'll take this uh, gutter material and I'll put it in and I'll mount my towers slightly above that. I took some of this other corrugated material and made like a flashing here because what I realized was uh, the towers, as well, the ones that have the, um, the holes in them, okay? I have holes in the back, they, they tend to leak in the back and so uh, using them in this application, I needed to uh, capture that water and direct it down into the um, into the gutter. The first week of May, uh, we had indoor AgCon in Las Vegas, and Keith and I went to it. That was our first expo that we went to, and we actually showcased these uh, towers along with some other growing medium that we have. We, I've been developing several um, things, if you want to say, to grow in, and uh, so. There'll be more videos coming now. I've taken a long break with videos I've been trying. Okay, so that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching again, and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come in the near future.